Hey BZB TV fans, my name is Matt, and today we're going to be going over the difference between 4K PTZ cameras and 1080p PTZ cameras. So uh, to do that, we're going to basically use our uh, Adamo, our BG Adamo 4K as a baseline to kind of be on one end of the spectrum and our BG UPTZ camera as the other end of the spectrum. So that's going to be our 1080p offering. Um, so most of the time uh, when you're looking at the differences between these cameras, it's not just going to be the resolution. The resolution is probably going to be the, the one that sticks out the most, but it's not going to be the number one difference between these cameras. Um, one interesting thing to note is that not all cameras that do 1080p, for example, are created equal. So even if you're just looking at a 4K camera, for example, that doesn't necessarily mean that the image quality is going to be hugely noticeably better than a 1080p camera because the image quality could just be bad. Even though it is a 4K camera, that doesn't mean it's quality 4K. That's not something you need to worry about with the BG Adamo. Our BG Adamo does fantastic 4K, and on top of that, it is feature packed. So that's going to be what we're really focusing on today, are those differences in features. So uh, one thing to notice when we're talking about the difference between our UPTZ and our Adamo is just general uh, glass quality. Are the glass quality of the lenses are going to be a lot better with the Adamo? That's not to say that the lenses that are inside the uh, UPDZ are bad lenses. It's just that when you are looking at making a quality uh, broadcast worthy product, there's going to be a little bit more focus in a little bit better lens selection. So when you're talking about that, that's also going to factor into the fact that, like I mentioned earlier, not all resolutions are created equal, even if they are the same resolution. So that's one of those things that plays into that. The second thing that we're going to talk about too is uh, tally lights. So usually when you're moving up into the 4K world on these cameras, you're talking about cameras that are really more tailored towards broadcast. And when they're tailored towards broadcast, that means it needs some broadcasting features. So like I said, tally lights are going to be something that we include with the Adamo. Uh, it's not something that all 4K cameras are included with. In fact, that's one of the biggest things about the Adamo is not only is it a very feature rich camera, but it's also bringing uh, things that much more expensive 4K cameras bring to the table at a much uh, lower price point. So uh, one of the other things too to think about is view angle. So if you look at the models that kind of are closely represented to each other when it comes to the Adamo versus the UPTZ, uh, the UPTZ at, for example, 12X is 72 degrees uh, view angle. But if you look at the Adamo, you're getting 80 degrees. So you're getting more uh, of a wide angle view at the least zoomed in portion as you can, which is great. That means you're going to be able to see more on the uh, stage and it also gives you some extras as well. So uh, one thing that we are bringing to the Adamo is going to be our AI tracking. Now that's something that we're launching uh, specifically for the Adamo and that's something that we've been really, really hammering on. But there's good news. We are actually bringing that to all of our PTZ camera lineup right now. Uh, so that's something that we were working on. We're trying to get that to work. So keep in tuned for that. But the Adamo is a little special. It has that AI auto tracking that's fantastic. So one other thing to really pay attention to when you're looking at cameras is going to be the sensor size. So our UPTZ actually uses a pretty good sensor, um, but it is a little bit of a smaller sensor compared to the Adamo. So you're looking at a one over 2.8 inch progressive CMOS sensor versus the one over 2.5 Sony CMOS sensor. So what that means is with the Adamo being the 1 over 2.5, uh, because it is a larger sensor, you are getting more light transmission onto that through the lens. It's going to be easier for you to get a cleaner uh, picture. It's going to give you more data, more light data, which is going to result in a better overall image quality. Other than that, really what you're going to be looking at is just going to be raw feature set. So um, when you're looking at cameras, you don't necessarily always want to dive into the specs. The spec sheet is important. It needs to be there because it does tell you something valuable. But uh, when you're looking at specs, that doesn't always translate into what you see to your eye always or what the camera is necessarily capable of in terms of software adjustments and whatnot. So if you look at the uh, UPTZ versus the Adamo, the Adamo is very, very 
versatile. You have a lot of options that you can do with it. And that's really what the difference is going to be when you're looking at moving up from just a regular consumer grade 1080p camera to a 4K uh, more prosumer or professional grade camera. You're going to be getting a whole lot more features. It's not necessarily just the resolution bump that matters. It is the feature set and what it brings. So for example, our Adamo, you have so many ways to record. You have uh, easy access to um, onboard recording through the SDXC slot. You have uh, 12G SDI versus the 3G SDI that we offer on the UPTZ. Um, so in general, that just gives you a whole lot of options. That doesn't mean you have to go straight to 4K60 with 12G SDI, but it does mean that you have a whole lot more bandwidth to play around with and a whole lot more options to shoot with. As far as control options are concerned, these cameras are fairly similar on the control side. They both offer a lot of the similar features, RS-232, um, NDI models if you want them, um, but for the Adamo, you are going to get NDI HX3, so that's pretty big. There is also going to be another announcement regarding our Damo camera coming up at uh, IBC. So make sure you're staying tuned on our YouTube to see that. But this was just kind of a quick overview of the differences between a 1080p camera and a 4K camera.